Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to install the Audacity Rugga Team template with a quick launch installer. It's a Joomla installation, so a Joomla 3 installation, and I have downloaded the Audi Audacity template from the Rugga Team website. And here it is, the Outer City zip files. I'm going to use the Rocket Launcher because this will install the full website just like the demo. And I'm going to install it on a WAMP installation. So an offline installation. I'm going to click on www because this is the actual WAMP directory. I already created a map. It's called Outer City, by the way, so it's a So I'm going to just extract here. What I'm going to do in the main in the meantime, I'm going to click on the PFP my admin here because I will need I will need a database. So I I'm opening localhost PFP my admin here. Normally you create a data bank online on your C panel. But this is the offline version, so we go for outer city. We click on create. And it's now installing all the files. And I want to have all the files in the root because it's now in a map or directory we have to wait till it finishes okay Patient. Okay, I'm going to just copy this here. And go back to the other city map here. Now everything is in the root folder, as, as we call it as webmasters, we call this the root folder. When you are online, in the FTP situation, this would be the root folder. And now I'm going to go to the local host here. And I'm going to look for Outer City. So this is the rocket launcher. Outer City your description email address your email at somewhere dot com your username at min something like this and then I click on next 
I will make it an English website just in case I need to explain stuff. It's nice if it's in English. I'm going to click on oh well now I get to write everything again. That's not so nice. Your description. Your email went somewhere. You have to fill in your own. There we go. Oh, I don't want the site to be offline, so I'm going to click on next. Now we have a local house. We have to fill in a username. And usually the username on WAMP is just a root. Password is empty. And then in the database, the name is the database I've just created. And in an online situation, you have to fill in the username and password. Your password won't be empty in your C in your normal online website. It will be the username and password and database name you have created online. Uh, so this is a WAMP, WAMP installation. So we're going to click on next. It's created everything. I'm now going to click on install. So it's installing sample data, which is handy too. It's good to see the, how it looks like with data in it. I'm going to remove the installation folder. And I'm going to click on the site. Local host out of city. Okay, it's opening here. Like you can see, it's the same as the demo. It does it does have sample images in it. So in the sample images, you can place your own content to the images. As you see, that it already has a menu. And it's explaining the type of key, the, the type of type of key, the Joomla stuff. It also has a nice menu here. Click a bit more. And there are also more colors available, preset styles. So we have the red, the purple, the gray one, the green one, the blue one, and the brown one. I'm going also to see, I'm going to look for the administrator here. I'm going to just use this. Make login. So this is our Joomla. I can click on update now. I'm curious if it will work with the latest update. Install the update.
so it's now updating it. It's good to know if the rocket team will work on Joomla 3.401. This is the demo from the rocket team itself. It's updating. We'll see. Content tabs with multiple position options. It also has a, already has a fake, uh, social media buttons here. You can add your, add your details in it in the system. And people can connect to your website. It's a responsive layout, so it uh, works on a mobile website as a mobile website as well. So people can view it in a, in a, in any device, desktop, tablet, or mobile. Let's see if it has upgraded already. So we do the check if it will work on a Joomla 3.41. The Joomla proof. You can run it on the latest version. Okay, it's now Joomla 3.41. Now we're going to the administrator. I'm going to log out and see if I can log back in. Well, so far that's fine. Sometimes after updating you get a blank screen, but this didn't happen. Let's see whether localhost on the city website it doesn't cause any errors online or at least on web everything is still online so that's fine so i hope you like this tutorial and I hope you will be back to my channel soon to watch more of my tutorials. Hope to see you back next time.